The Nigerian Guild of Editors, the NUJ and the International Press Institute have condemned the continued harassment of the press by the military. The bodies made the joint condemnations in Abuja while explaining the ordeal Olusegun Olatunji went through in the hands of the Defense Intelligence Agency (DIA) shortly after his release. Shegu Olatunji, who is the editor of First News, has been in the custody of the DIA since March the 15th. They called on the president and commander in chief of the armed forces to ensure that the military surrenders to democratic authorities. We do not think this kind of attitude should be condoned by President Bola Ahmed Tinubu, particularly and Nigerians in general. If officers in a military institution like DIA could hack a journalist's telephone, mishandle his wife, abduct him, detain him secretly for 12 days, sorry, 14 days, and disobey senior officials of the federal government, then our democracy cannot be said to be safe. Although our colleague has been released, we are calling on President Tinubu to ensure that these officers are punished for their bad behavior. By all standards, the action of the DIA, General Musa and General DIA, are against the position of the Nigerian National Nigerian Constitution and other international instruments to which Nigeria is a signatory. Which forbid the detention of any citizen or resident beyond 48 hours except with a valid court order. More so, the DIA action is a direct attack on press freedom. One of the core missions of the press freedom is to serve as a watchdog on power. The press, we all know, is the connection between the people and the government. If the press is not allowed to carry out its social and constitutional responsibility, but instead of the to power, it simply serves as an extension of power. The journalist explained that the actions of the military were unlawful and anti-democratic. The situation where a journalist is abducted and nobody could really ascertain where he was kept for 14 days it speaks volumes. And like I said earlier, it's so concerning, you know. And uh, it is therefore very, very important that Mr. President, President Bola Hamilton, must call these officials to act. The only other thing that uh, I would say is that journalists must learn to come together to protect um, themselves. We want to thank all of you for the report that you've done on this matter. We have to be more vigilant going forward. You can see that there are still lots of anti-democratic forces in our country, even though we are a democracy, 24 year old democracy now, but there are still lots of people who are uncomfortable with the media and the kind of work the media does. While thanking the various media institutions, Shego Latunji narrated his ordeal in the hands of the military. <laughs> The editor was abducted by armed men in his home in Iyanodo, Abulegba area of Lagos. After he was taken away, family members were kept in the dark about his whereabouts or why he was seized. Several groups, including the Nigerian Union of Journalists, NUJ, the Nigerian Guild of Editors and the International Press Institute Nigeria had clamored for Olatunji's release for days on end. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.